about 9.30 in the evening, and hey, it's been a couple of months since my last V-Vlog, and I'm here in Tokyo, figured it was worthwhile, at the Popeye, the famous Popeye beer bar, and of course, I'll be talking with uh, Brian Harrell, he's the Celebrator Beer News Correspondent in Tokyo, and uh, we're studying the beer menu. It requires uh, a little bit of setting in order to, well, of course, translation help. Brian, unfortunately, is uh, fluent in, in the, uh, the, the site show, the owner. I've been writing about craft beer in Japan since 92, but there was no craft beer until 95 when the government changed the regulations, so I was ahead of my time. I'm probably the longest operating beer writer in Japan of any nationality. I just happen to be American and not Japanese. There you go. Yeah. But here for 25 years or so? Uh, I've been here 31 years. 31 years. In 1977, I'm a 60s refugee in Japan. Uh, life's nice. There you go. Uh, this is the Yona Yona. Yep. What'd you get? This is Ozeno Yukidoke IPA that is still sitting in his his version of a Randall. So the proprietor has a proprietor has his own version of a Randall. Well, uh, Kanpai. Cheers. Mm. Tell you what, the international language of craft beer is a beautiful thing. Okay, and this is that IPA. IPA. Big hop aroma. This brewery used to make totally horrible beer, but a couple of years ago they ramped up and their beer is awesome. I'm trying to get somebody to bring it into the U.S. It's Ozeno Yukidoke, and um, yeah, that's well, that's got a catch to it. Ozeno Yukidoke. Well, Ozeno is a region. Got to work on that. Yukidoke means melting snow. It's a mountain area that has all these beautiful wildflowers in the spring, and the company makes great beer. They also make shochu. They also make sake. Uh, they're a regional mom and pop brewery that finally got their act together on beer, and I'm happy to be around for the result. Cool. Well, as I wrap up this segment, uh, tell me about the place that we're at, Popeye. Uh, this is Beer Club Popeye. It has been a pub here for 20 years, but when the craft brew movement started in 1995, the government allowed small breweries. <coughs> the owner, Mr. Alki, decided I want to be there too and he was one of the first adopters of craft beer and even to this day um, 13 years later he is the biggest supporter of Japanese craft beer and the buck stops with him if the beer isn't good he doesn't serve it therefore people who come here never get a bad beer that's where the buck stops well it's especially gratifying to me to be able to have one of uh, Toshi's beers in his home country Yona Yona Pale Ale and it's uh, off yeah. the cask and they got a nice cask system right through there that's the gravity cast. Yep. The hand pumps are at the bar. Plus, there are 40 taps. <laughs> I'm in a happy place. However, 40 taps in America doesn't sound like a big deal. In Japan, 
there is no place with more taps than this place. And this is the very best place in Japan to have a craft beer. Well, kanpai to that. Cheers. Cheers.